Dear Me, A Letter to My 16 Year Old Self is a book that I've compiled comprising of letters written by some of the world's greatest TV, movie, music and uh, sports stars. It's basically a sort of time travelling exercise where if you could have a time travel mailbox and we've asked these people to write a letter to themselves age 16 and we've compiled it all together with photographs that they've provided us of themselves around that age. It's uh, an opportunity to see a lot of celebrities in a way that you'd never normally see them and it's um, a way of getting some insight into what it is that made these people the people that we know and love today. We've received some material that I just, I couldn't have dreamed of having. Um, James Belushi sent us a mug shot of him under arrest, age 16, holding his, uh, play his, his numbers under it, which is absolutely fantastic. So he was clearly as much of a bad boy as his brother was. And actually in his letter, what's so beautiful is that he provides the mug shot and he addresses himself sitting in a cell and he says that, you know, on the one hand, he's glad that the crime was victimless, but he's really pointing out that the reason that he was always in trouble was that he wanted attention. So the same reason that he was in trouble is also the same reason that he became a, a movie star and a TV star. But there's a lot of surprising images. There's, there's Alice Cooper next to presumably what was his first car, looking like a sort of early 60s mod. Um, not the Alice Cooper of makeup and hair that we'd expect. Alice Cooper uh, sent some advice to himself, which was, um, I'm paraphrasing now, but something along the lines of, uh, uh, keep clear of the trashy girls. Look, look out for a good church girl, because you get the best of both worlds. I love John Waters' letter. Um, it's a very short one, and he says something along the lines of, um, be angry now, like you are because at 16 it's sexy, at 64 it's spinning your wheels. Um, uh, which I think is, is true, is true, because uh, he's clearly not somebody that's grown up into be some bitter old thing, he's um, very funny. J.K. Rowling says some uh, really funny and, and, and moving things in her letter as well. So apart from telling herself not to get her ear pierced by a hippie at a music festival, uh, because of the resulting hideous infection, <laughs> which I think is a lovely piece of teenage domestic insight. She also says that she uh, is capable of drawing something good out of even the worst situations that happen to her. And what I think is really, really beautiful is the fact that J.K. Rowling, who is you know the, the, the biggest author in the history of publishing, um, has written that. And then she says, I think this is the proudest statement I've ever made. And for somebody of her stature to be writing that in my book and for me to have the opportunity to publish that is my proudest moment. One of the things that's really interesting about the book is that there are little clues about personal tragedies um, or personal triumphs scattered throughout it. and there's. There's, there's some real starting places that I'd really like to, you, you'd want to sit that person down and go, what was going on at this point in your life? So we have um, Kathleen Turner says, you're about to have your world destroyed, the safety and security you feel now taken away. Just know that you've been taught well, both in character and tools for learning. And um, James Woods says, uh, and most importantly, call your brother on July 26th, 2006 tell him he must go to a different hospital and this isn't this is this is stuff that hints at uh, the real marrow of family life in ways that most celebrity interviews never do because that's not something that's constructed for a, for a PR interview this is somebody actually putting down something that really matters to them on the page without necessarily giving the detail away and I think that's a tantalizing 
a glimpse into the real emotions of somebody's life. I think that there is something um, potentially very therapeutic about the idea of looking back at your childhood and looking back at your teenage years and addressing yourself there. And I think it can give you a sort of a, a, a greater sense of who you are now, actually, and a clearer vision, I think, of who you, who you were and where you've come from and what you've become. Um, it's very focusing and it's a sort of, it's an idea that is, is full of compassion and it makes it possible for people to address them, address their younger selves with compassion and understand themselves a little bit more and maybe just let go of a few things that have been haunting them. Having pulled this collection together, I'm absolutely pinching myself because I can't believe that from my one bedroom apartment in London, in England, I've managed to pull together 80, over 80 of the world's biggest film stars, TV stars, musicians, international figures, sporting people, um, and that they've absolutely opened their hearts to me and to the page, and they have all produced something that is absolutely worthy of being packaged up in this lovely little book.